how many cans have we killed 145,000. so let's head to the next area though i think this is the best xp place 24 oh hello wormies flying worm 150,000. oh 26 oh they're hitting me pretty hard now 79 with no shrine let's put up the shrine army as always 29 that seems more reasonable 28,000. Not bad at all. And we have 24 to 43. You're making pies and you're making garlic. Whoa, two owned. And let's not make that then. Oh, that is also really long. I guess you're back to making eggs. You go back to make egg. Let's try to unlock this world too. I think this one mimic is a tank. So let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, 250. I guess I can trash them right away. Oh, yay, we got it. Then again, only 107. Frozen armor and shield, which gives 100% block chance to pets. It passes over and deals 50% damage. When in combat, all pets have 12% block chance. Ooh, this is the current front line. Let's give it a try. I don't have any healing. So that's my main. Okay. Yeah, okay. Get out. <sighs> I need a better than 107, but now we can breed it, so it's fine. We need 2k for the next egg. Unlock the second breeding multiplier, breedability. Pets placed in the fence yard with the breedability gene increases this multi over time. So I guess you can't get any breedability before you do the first upgrade. I think it's worth upgrading the gene boost because you're gonna need so many splicing stuff. Pretty much every mob you want to upgrade the splicing. Right now I can't do the world 2 splicing as I don't have the new gun. So now that I have the defender here, I will try to get the carrot and, uh, well, the rest of world one. I unlock the Yule Spinner, Amethyst Rhinestone. I can buy that. Well, I can't buy it because I don't have the eggs and I definitely don't have the... You can only buy one of these a day. And considering it took me seven days to unlock this one, the Yule Spinner, and it's been like seven days since the release, it's impossible to buy this one. Amethyst Rhinestone gives you meal cooking is 1.5 faster. This bonus is applied twice if all three purple jewels are active. So it's a really good one to have. 900,000 out of 3 million. This is taking a really long time. And today's dailies are shop forest fiber and say those would be cool crusade bosses. Why would you think that? Only a buffoon would use art like that as a crusade boss. Now, if they were wearing two seat belts. Yeah, so in his former game, I was killing. There was a function called crusading. And these guys are wearing, so kind of like two seat belts, you know. It's not really a seat belt, it's like a belt. One of those cool apocalyptic dresses, you know, that everyone seems to be wearing, you know, Mad Max style. Well, this guy is not going to be doing any shopping, so he is done for the day. Let's take a look at everyone else. 23 hours. That's a lot of XP. Can I use skills while sitting in here? Hey, I can. That's good to know. 98 pixels. Well, that didn't give us much. Well, it only literally gave me like, what, two pixels to move? Oh, you're so close. Well, I don't know, in a day or two, maybe we can reach one of these. And this guy keeps fishing. Actually, you are going to do some shopping. This is good because I'm running out of this type of wood. I have 962 and 471 goldfish and 39 of these cereal uh, flies things. I can't remember the name. And just like that, we complete another daily. That's how easy it is. He's level 39 right now. It's going so fast, it's kind of silly actually. And I think that's it for now. And we got our daily bubble upgrade. I bought this camera, but I realized I never used it. So let's give it a try. This will just be a short part of the video, doing some quick claiming before bed. We are farming some salad here. We have 13 of them. I think we can upgrade. Yes, we can. Did I say 13? Oh, that was the progress. But now I'm not sure if it's worth keeping the salad. I think I want some corn. So I got this new jewel that upgrades the kitchen upgrades here but i'm not sure if it worked if it has a different timer compared to the three alchemy bubbles was it just me or did we have a different shop there for a second uh, it's almost halfway there the automation arm everything else is chugging along let's upgrade the woodlaw shrine a bit a level 42 cog not bad at all Ooh, a 46 cog almost deleted it Let's see if we can get lucky. We get this card. Um, we did not. 
we got a crap book. No point in dropping it when I put it on a pile of loot. I feel like my food is slowly going down. It doesn't feel like it's being replaced. So I'm gonna grab a stack and keep it with me just in case. And now we're back here at world four. So I think this is the end of this little session here. And I will continue this tomorrow. 2443. Look at this. We got a stamp. Gilded axe stamp. I'm assuming this is more damage. Let's check out our eggs. Oh, look. We're not full this time. Now I want to unlock this breeding multiplier. Breedability pulls. I need to trash some. Oh, 276. Yeah, that's the thing I want. There we go. Now everyone is 200 something. This means we can trash all of these guys. And with that, we can unlock the breedability. Now we need to get a breedability pet, but uh, eventually we will get one. They have a small heart somewhere. And here you can see a new update. We got progress bars here. So we no longer have to click around like this. You can just see it at a glance. This is the new stamp we got. Base damage, as expected. Oh, nice. 48 base damage before we even need any upgrades. Not sure what this is. I don't think I have gotten that item yet. And our dailies today are shop toilet logs again. And defeat 69 sand castles. And we gotta do the world one Colosseum. That should not be an issue. And just like that, it is done. People complain that the dailies are hard to do, but I don't really get it. They are completed just that easy. Oh no, what are you doing? Or is he? Oh my god. He was standing over here and then he did not kill these two mushrooms. Now we gotta run back all the way. I'm not sure what the points needed for the gold chest. Oh well, we got it. I'm not sure if you can get two gold chests in the world one. I hope not. Oh man, look at this. We got 50 Poderos and our daily was to get 75. Ah, of course. Why would you not put it at an uneven number? And we did some quick shopping. Level 41. So we're back here and this is the Wormland. I have been here for quite some time. I have killed 168. That means we have a new zone. And it's the ooh, jelly cube. Not sure what this is. I guess it's, oh, it's B. Yeah, okay, you're not going to be catching those. And here we have an NPC, Bumblebee. Ooh, 32 million. It's going up every zone. Let's make that even better by getting some shrines. 35. We need 250,000 to unlock the next area. That's gonna take some time. So let's talk with this guy here. Capital P, it's your boy. Capital P in the building. Hide your drinks, cause I be sipping on water that is. Y'all better be hydrating. Six stuff I as bat A. Eh? I'll be here all night, don't worry. I'm the life of the party. Always have been, always will be. Enough talk, let's have some fun. The first game is right side, wrong side. You get one party point for every monster on the left side of the platform and minus five points for every monster on the right. This happens every second. Win the first party game. And we get the stamp and a cooking ladle. I think this is lab XP. Ooh, number 42 of 42. So it's the last skill stamp. Every monster on the left side and minus five for every monster on the right. Okay, so if we stand up about in the middle, this guy is a pretty good uh, sign for that, I guess. And I guess we can just take them out. Here we go, the party points are going up. Seems to be pretty simple. Just patrol this area. Hola hola, you won, let's keep playing. I got more party games. The second game is no room on the dance floor. If all monsters are dead, you get 25 points. If even a single monster is alive, you lose five points. This happens every second. Win the second party game. No room on the dance floor. We get a DNA stamp for this. Points are going up. I think there's a trick to this. I'm gonna try it out. You kind of stand here, wait for them to respawn. So now they have respawned. Let's go back in. Let's click auto. The points are going down. Come on. Kill them faster, you lazy. Hmm. Oh, no, we got a giant. Well, uh. This didn't go so well. 
this guy never oh man they're respawning no oh well i guess maybe it's better to do this i can take them down as they respawn and then we try it again there's one guy over here Okay, I will do this later when I can one-shot them. May need speed potions or something like that. No room on the dance floor. You win this time. But we got a lab tube stamp, a ladle, and uh, some gems. This morning I unlocked the carrot man. I was just gonna go in, use my eggs real quick. Um, but I managed to get out of these six eggs, I got four of this breedability type. And I got a, also a really strong carrot man if we look at his special ability it is mercenary throws two to three small daggers which deal 150 damage when foraging this pet contributes two times fight power so you can see here i have tiny creatures crawling around here now not really sure what they're doing we have our floppy ones and a hard one and i guess they are breeding well they're breeding a lot so eventually you will have tons of pets running around I think this was pretty cool. You can't really interact with them. I don't think the food refill works anymore. It is on. When consuming any food or potion while gone, the food will be replenished from your storage chest. And I have tons of this mountain bread. I don't know. At level 152, you unlock this circle here. So let's see if we can get a gold one. Com oh my god. Yep, that's how it usually goes. I guess I would put that one in there for now. Before we do this, let's loot the stamp. Thank you. Finally, lab XP gain. And you want those bottle caps. That's good. I have those. 23%. That's all we could afford. Let's get some more pet chance. 90%. And some more cooking recipe speed. Oh, well. We have completely run out of money. Our dailies are, okay, a spike mini game. We're not gonna be doing that. And get hit by e-font. Let's take down these arms at first. Then let's stand over here. Now you just stand here and wait until he shoots you. There we go. That should have completed it, and it did. Oh no, I clicked somewhere. It's annoying that when you're in this menu here, it clicks, you do, register in the background. Then we have to do some World 2 Colosseum. These are pretty annoying now to do, because you waste your tickets, and you want your tickets for the World 4 one, so you can get some money. Hey, look at this, we got the stamp. The bullseye stamp that used to be in the 7 figure followers quest. Yesterday's patch made it so that it drops in World 2 instead. What the hell? Where did it go? Oh, I put it in the... My god, I put it in the storage. I was gonna say, I could absolutely not find it. Here it is, base accuracy. 12.3. Oh, you need that. Well, this is a bit annoying. He wanted the one thing I have the least of. Well, we got 20 base accuracy. 12.4. And with that, pick an axe is done. Let's take a look at the other people. Now we're getting 27 per hour. Yeah. The secret was in that little stamp. Now we can finally get some levels here. We got double XP on uh, over 24 hour. Ooh, double XP again. Double XP, okay. Oh, not double XP. Oh man, if this guy could just connect this on his own, that would be great. Ooh, this guy can connect that way. Yes, we did it. Hey, no. What happened now? There we go. Ah, there we go. We can finally put all the shrines in town. Let's do that straight away. No, I'm not sure where to put them. I mean, this is pretty dead, this area, but you don't want to move your shrines after this. So maybe up here, nothing happens over this area. There we go. Upload yourself again, please. With that, we should have global connection. He should have 38. He got 34. 38, 35. Mm, a bit better. Let's do that one more time. Come on. Improve. Uh, 
I don't know, this was kind of how it was, right? I gotta go back and check the vote if we got 38 before. If so, we got scammed. If I try and place within town instead of in a monster map, it will act as though it is placed in every map in the entire world. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.